Hey guys, um, I'm back with another game review. I'm going to be reviewing Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order because I have just completed it on the channel. You guys probably saw reviews on this, you know, as soon as the game came out in like November of last year or something. Kind of the same time as The Mandalorian was coming out. Now we have like no Star Wars news, but yeah, last year we had a lot of good Star Wars stuff. I mean, we're supposed to get a sequel to this game and a uh, season two and three to The Mandalorian, so that's going to be a lot of fun. But my thoughts on this game are right here. So, I gotta say, um, this was one of the best games of last year. I mean, it's not the best. I prefer Resident Evil 2 or Mortal Kombat 11 or even, yeah. But then, yeah, then, yeah, it's this. But yeah, this is, uh, I gotta say, the best thing about this game easily is the story. Great, great story. Um, I love... Uh, how they have to, like, you know, rebuild the Je uh, Jedi Order. That's why it's called Jedi Fallen Order. But at the end of the game, they have what you need to build the Jedi Order again. But then they just break it because they feel like as long as they're a team, the Jedi Order is restored. So, if you saw my last video on this uh, game, like the last gameplay part, whenever I was, like, doing the final one. And you saw my reaction to how Darth Vader popped in. Oof. Yeah. Yeah. Now, let's talk about this girl back here. Not the... Yeah, this... This Sith. She's a pain in the ass. How many times do you have to run into her? It's like... It gets so annoying after a while. You have to just, like, fight her, like, five times or something. I'm glad that she died at the end. I mean, she was about to turn good, but whatever. I was sick of fighting her. Um... I'm a big Star Wars fan, and that and that kind of pushes my limits of this game. You don't really have any other recognizable uh, Star Wars characters in this besides, like, Darth Vader. And there are a lot of Wookiees, but none of them are really, like, you know, Chewbacca. There are his families, so that proves that he exists in this game. Um, and, uh, you know, since Darth Vader's in this game, I guess that kind of proves that Luke and Palpatine are still out there. In the sequel, we might get actual, uh, you know, recognizable characters. Uh, but yeah, you just play as this uh, newcomer cow. We don't really know who he is, but that's why they made this game to develop his character. And he had a good purpose. You do see a lot of flashbacks of him as a kid training with his um, with his master. EA makes this game. You guys probably know them for their sports games like Madden or FIFA. I don't think they did NBA though. But yeah, they did this. Um, some people say this was the very first ever good Star Wars game because everything before this sucked. I never played any other Star Wars game besides this in my life, to be honest. I gotta tell you that honestly. I never played Battlefront 2, and I didn't want to because of those terrible reviews. So, probably gonna say, how you gonna judge by a game you haven't even played? Look, if it's a bad game, and there's bad reviews, I don't want it. End of discussion. So, yeah. And then he runs into these two people. Who, uh... Who, they're like this crew. And they do a good uh, uh, job of, like, developing their friendship. At the beginning, they're just strangers. They're just, like, get in. But then they, you know, develop. And they actually become a crew. And then the ending... What's her name? Like, Mar... Mar... Marine or something? Yeah, she joins the crew and everything. I didn't think she would turn good. Because, I mean, like, she sent, like, her dead sisters to try and kill me or something. So, I didn't think that would work, but there are a lot of puzzles in this game that kind of frustrate you. Um, yeah. There is a lot of point in this, uh, points in this game where it can get uh, hard to deal with, you know? Like, there's a part whenever... I mean, I, lo I love the little puzzles you do. Like, uh, like there's this, like, uh, light puzzle where you have to reflect this ice cube onto, like, another uh, iceberg and then melt it. That was a lot of fun. But then, there are these other things where you have no idea where to go. You gotta turn, around, you gotta walk around the whole map, and then you gotta unlock some doors. And I wanted to claw my eyes out. Because not, it, not only is it frustrating, you have no idea where to go ever, and you just get stuck constantly and constantly. It just, it can really burn me, you know? And especially the final boss of this game. Now Darth Vader, the one that came before that, you know. Um, that one was hard to deal with, you know. Uh, I couldn't record me failing and failing and failing all the time. So I just, uh, you know, started whenever, you know, Darth Vader was about to pop up. But, all in all said, the graphics uh, are good. But 
to be honest, for 2019, they could have been better. I think so. I think they could have been better. Um, but they're good enough, I think. They're not super realistic, but they try their best. Jedi Fallen Order, I'm going to have to give this a 4.1 out of 5. All in all, this was a good game. It did have a lot of flaws and frustrating parts that could sometimes, if you're that big of a rager, sometimes it could make you hate the game. But if you really just think about it, relax, take a break, and then put the game back in. And then once you're done and you've beaten the whole game, you like it. So yeah, that's my review on Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order.